Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we're going to react to something I'm so excited about. I wanted to get home and do this as quickly as I could. Is Hobson Your House. Now, if you've watched this channel from the beginning, you know that I'm a big fan of Hobson. Big fan. I love him. Been a fan of him forever. So, uh, I'm really excited. I know he stepped away for a long time to get, you know, to just take a break and stuff, and that's awesome. He's been dropping a song every once in a while to, you know, keep us around, so that's exciting. But anyways, anytime Hobson drops something, I cannot wait to uh, to check it out. So, I'm going to do headphones today. Um, my monitors are not working, so I have to do the stupid headphones. So, let's check it out. Man, I don't even know what happened I was born inside of this shit My fucking parents scrapping I was mortified as a kid Police always at my house All because of my daddy's temper Man, this shit been going on About as long as I can remember He'd always blame my mom For the shit he didn't accomplish I'd hide in the corner Like a guinea pig in the process Just knowing he about to Smack the fucking teeth out of mouth It's like when it came to some type of drama He got aroused Whew Okay That's um coming with some heavy stuff talking about his his life growing up um, I'm assuming he's talking about himself so uh, whew, okay all right no joke there was the moments where dad would slowly be creeping up I would jump in front of my mama please don't beat her up I ain't never spoke on this shit the memories are up smiles and hugs that's just something you'll never see in us you know the pain when your parents tell you to go and play Then hours later you see your mom and she got a swollen face I hope you don't relate, I just learned how to cope today From the days when I would pick up the phone and say I gotta leave here now My mom and Oof. Says I hope you don't relate, I'm just learning how to cope today Um, that's, I, I, that's, man I can't imagine I mean I, I was lucky, um, in that sense uh, my parents weren't abusive uh, physically in any way, so um, to each other or to us. So I was I'm really grateful for that. Um, but I know uh, I've worked with youth for many years. Uh, was a young life leader for for many years, and uh, I know a lot of kids that have gone through that, and it's uh, it's heartbreaking. It it sucks. Dad acting crazy in the same way And they've been going back and forth all night I wanna stay at your house tonight Cause I don't wanna hear my dad fight mama no more I don't wanna hear the police at the front door Can I stay at your house? I wanna stay at your house tonight I would go to school feeling so frightened, yeah, I was scared Not knowing if I'ma go home finding my mama dead Every other fucking day there was always Oof, I just... Losing control, he was acting like a fucking Nate running loose in our home Man, ever since I was born, they was pessimistic and torn It's evident, but regardless, they never get a divorce God, I wish they got around it, just checking into some counseling We could have been a happy family inside our house again I said again, as if we ever were, that's false Shit I dealt with growing up will forever hurt, I'm lost We were nothing like the families I used to see on the sitcoms We were horrible whip bonds, I can no longer sitcom I would see that my friends had a life at home that was peaceful They were lovable people who didn't function like we do or how I wish I could redo the pain of the wicked days When I pick up the telephone, call a friend and say I got it Man You know, he talks about he had friends that They were all lovable people And there wasn't this massive dysfunction Every family's got some dysfunction, let's be honest We're all human We all have our issues and our struggles, but 
you know, just a massive dysfunction where it was scary to be at the house or or the stuff that he was talking about. Like that's, and, and, and the sad part is I know it happens a lot, a lot. I leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy and this ain't right. And they've been going back and forth all night. I wanna stay at your house tonight. Cause I don't wanna hear my dad fight mama no more. I don't wanna hear the police at the front door. Can I stay at your house? I wanna stay at your house tonight. Your Tonight. I ain't placing the blame saying it's mom or dad's fault But all those traumas I had stuck with me as an adult And it ignited these mad thoughts that I seem to have often Yeah, that's Hobson, music is where my last straw went Now I'm devoted to always give you my true life The love I never felt growing up, I get it from you guys One thing that I like what he said there He said, because it's shown clips of obviously his his dad being abusive to his mom, which is horrible and wrong. No man should hit a woman. Um, but it showed clips of, of her hitting him, her hitting Hobson, and her shoving uh, her dad. Her, so she's being physical as well. And uh, look, I mean, I'm, I'm all, I'm, I might get in trouble with this. I'm pro spanking. You know, I was spanked growing up, but there's a difference between being abusive and, and spanking because he did something wrong. Um, but he said that I'm, I'm not putting the blame on mom or dad. He's basically saying I, I'm, I'm not going to say, oh, it's all dad's fault or it's all mom's fault. And I think that that's a really mature thing to say because it's easy to point the blame towards one person. Well, he did this or she did this. They were worse or whatever. And so I, I really like that he said that. Like, I don't know. That, that just stuck out to me. Please don't get it twisted, I love both my parents to death I just think there's issues a lot of fucking parents neglect We all got these traumas we carry and sometimes it's scary Cause we bury the nest right there in our chest And we subconsciously air and project the nightmares and the stress That we dealt with when we were younger And that's why therapy's best, listen Whew. So, I, I've said this before on the show And, and, I, and I openly talk about this I... I there are some things in my, I didn't grow up in a household like this, but there are things that in my life that, that were really um, tough and not necessarily situations that a child should have to uh, grow up around. And, um, and I, I, I had, I like he said, that's why I talk about therapy. Like I, I, I went to a treatment center for anxiety and depression for a month um, cost me twenty thousand dollars, and it was the best twenty thousand dollars ever spent. So, I'm uh, I'm I'm fully in, in agreement with Hobson here. Like this is like therapy. It, therapy works if you're willing to give a hundred percent, and and be truthful. If you got kids of your own and you throwing tantrums, don't be oblivious and assume that it won't impact them. Children follow the protocol of the parents' blueprint. So when there's an issue, they might handle it just how you did. You did. Okay, hold on. I gotta I listen to that again. That's why therapy's best. Listen. If you got kids of your own and you throwing tantrums, don't be oblivious and assume that it won't impact them. Children follow the protocol of the parents' blueprint. So when there's an issue, they might handle it just how you did. That's a, so I have a son who's about to turn one, and uh, kids are sponges, and uh, wow, I, you know, me and Jackson's mother, we're, we're getting married in June, and I love her to death, she's the She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Her and Jackson are the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, but, you know, it's true. <laughs> you know, you get upset, you have an argument, and even him at one, you know, is sitting there watching, and it's like, I want my son to be better than me. And so I need to work on, on being better myself so that he is something to, uh, to really want 
to be like. So, again, we're not all perfect. We all make mistakes. And uh, I'm guilty of a lot of mistakes in my life. And, uh, but, um, best part is, God's good. God's grace is good. And, uh, and, uh, we can have redemption from those mistakes. But this song is incredible. It just hops and is killing it like always. I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy and this ain't right. And they've been going back and forth for oh, a night. Dad. I wow. wanna stay at your house tonight. Cause I don't wanna hear my dad fight mama no more. I don't wanna hear the police at the front door. Can I stay at your house? I wanna stay at your house tonight. Your house tonight. Wow, um, how that video ended, you know, because he said that line talking about be careful how you act around your kids. You think they might not be watching the stuff, but they might end up reacting in the same way that you did. And, and it shows him, you know, being arrested the same way that his dad was. Um, and I, you know, if you know Hobson's story, there's, you know, he doesn't get to, I don't, I don't know as of recent, but I know if, I know that he wasn't, he doesn't know his kid um, due to circumstances that from the sounds of it isn't, from, from his music isn't true, but, um, and uh, I, I, don't, I don't know the, the whole scenario, so I'm not going to dive into that because that's not, that's not for me to know other outside of his music, but um, that was just, just the visuals of that, the, the song talking about how, how therapy can work and therapy can be good. Um, I fully agree with that. I'm a testament to that. Um, and uh, just, I mean, Hobson, is, this is why I love Hobson, because he speaks the truth. He's always spoken the truth. And, and it's just uh, oof, so good. It's so good. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Hit that like button. And um, normally I talk a lot, but that that was deep and that was heavy. So I think the song pretty much speaks for itself. So, anyways, you guys know how it goes. We'll see you next time.